We've all had moments when we wished we could say, beam me up, Scotty. This desire to be in a better place or time is related to a psychological strategy called temporal distancing. Imagining ourselves in the future is a way to cope with the stress and anxiety of the present. Just because time travel takes place inside our heads doesn't mean it can't change reality, said Hal Hirschfield, a professor of marketing, behavioral decision-making and psychology at the University of California at Los Angeles's Anderson School of Management and author of the book, Your Future Self, How to Make Tomorrow Better Today. How you think about your future can have a huge impact on your present and future selves. Research shows that during the early days of the pandemic, adults who were randomly assigned to write letters to their future selves or from their future selves to their current selves experienced an immediate reduction in negative emotions and an increase in positive ones, compared with those who focused only on the present. Another study found that using a temporal distancing technique helped both younger and older teens regulate their emotions easing their self-reported distress. And in a 2022 study of 160 women residing in the San Francisco Bay Area, researchers found that people who frequently engaged in temporal distancing in response to daily stressful events over an eight-day period experienced more positive emotions and fewer negative emotions on a daily basis. Stress is a part of life. Engaging in temporal distancing can put everyday stressors in context in our lives and help us focus on the impermanent nature of the stressor, said Emily Wilroth, an assistant professor of psychological and brain sciences at Washington University in St. Louis and co-author of the 2022 study. This strategy also helps us challenge unhelpful or harmful thought patterns. By using science-based techniques for temporal distancing, you can ease your current distress and enhance your mood and motivation, experts say. When you're stuck in a traffic jam and late for a meeting or your credit card was fraudulently used, your emotions may be running high. But will this upsetting situation matter in the long run? We have a tendency to exaggerate how bad these things are in the moment. Our brains are not good at distinguishing between things that need immediate attention, like your house is on fire and things you're stressed about that you can't do anything about today," said Mark Leary, a professor of psychology and neuroscience at Duke University and author of the book, The Curse of the Self. Pause and consider whether this situation is likely to matter in a month, a year or ten years. Ask yourself, is this going to make a difference to my overall life? With many sources of stress, the answer is likely no.